Where do we see each other in five years? Pregnant with quintuplets. Oh, one for each year. Huge. <laughs> Let me tap into that intuition. I'm seeing a wedding. Bridesmaids, hot. <laughs> it's vlogmas. Honestly, I don't think I'm gonna do it this year. But obviously they can just go watch Miss Remy. <laughs> the following podcast is a Dear Media production. Pretty basic. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Pretty Basic. I'm your co-host, Remy Cruz. And I'm your other co-host, Alicia Murray. Welcome back, you guys. Welcome back. Today we are serving businesswoman. Again, if you listened to last week, mm -hmm. we went on this whole rampage about how we are back on the same wavelength. Yes. Same page. Yes. And we unintentionally matched. Again, we are both Wait, wearing- literally, even more than I realized. Yeah, obviously, if you're not watching the YouTube video, go watch it on YouTube. But I am wearing um, some baggy jeans, as is Remy. Yes. Both of us are wearing pointed toe heels. Yes. Mine are cream, yours are black. Yes. And then I have a cream top to match. Yes. And you have a black top to match yours. You're giving butter yellow cream color theory gorgeousness oh my god and you are giving agatha i was gonna say ash like for, uh, <laughs> like you're ash? from a fire no like uh, ash like, oh. like <laughs> i don't know what else to say that was a that wasn't very nice or like a burnt wick <laughs> in a hot way like hot <laughs> i don't know what thank else. you so um, much yeah you're giving witchy vibes give Spooky. your outfit of the day oh my top is it's from mm. revolve okay but it's a long sleeve it's like a cream super light yellow off the shoulder. I love how long the sleeves are. They're like hella long. You're so Ariana Grande. No, literally. <laughs> Wash the washing hands. Under I the love sink. that meme. Uh, my jeans are from Outcast Clothing. They kind of have like a distressed look to them and they're cargo. And then my shoes are from Jeffrey Campbell. And I've Very been obsessed cute. with Jeffrey Campbell lately. It has like a little bit of a triangular block heel. I love Jeffrey Campbell. You know, those shoes that I wear to every wedding and event, they're mm -hmm. like not very cute, but they're the only ones that my feet don't hurt in. Jeffrey Campbell with a weird triangle heel. The triangle heel, mm -hmm. it's so good. It keeps you from sinking into the grass at weddings and events. They are very good. My outfit today, my shoes are from Stuart Weitzman. They are black. Uh, mesh. Mesh pumps, yes. And then my jeans are Citizens of Humanity. And my top is Mariana Hewitt slash La Academy collab. Wow. Yes. I, bring back outfit of the weeks. I love, I watched your uh, What's in My Purse video. Thank you. Very, very good. Did you see the NRI tagged you? Oh my God. Okay. She didn't finish. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. No, but it, okay. I watched the whole video. I didn't see the tag, but I got a comment on TikTok that it wasn't straight up like, hey, Rami, did you see your tag? It was kind of cryptic yeah. where I was like, <laughs> but they were like, did you see who tagged you on something? something? And I was like, <laughs> no, what? I, I think it's just like, did you see who tagged you on YouTube? But didn't say your oh. name. So I was like, oh my God, who's talking about me? And then you're like, I don't even want to look into it. But I had already <laughs> watched your video, but I didn't say till the end. And oh, I, I get apologize. It, I get it. It's okay. Now this makes sense. Yeah. I was like, I'm going to make this a tag. So Mr. Me Ashton, I'm tagging you. Was it just you. me? Yeah. <laughs> <gasps> I'll do it. You showed up. Honestly, it's like, it did really well. And like the response was really good. A lot of people were like, this reminds me of old YouTube. I love it so much. Um, and then they were like, I like how you took an old video, but like made it more modern. So innovative. So I was I was trying to think of other OG videos to do and kind of modernize them. If you guys didn't see, I did the what's in my bag video, but I did three different purses. And then it was like a work bag, everyday bag, and then going out. And um, it was fun. I liked it. I love that you also shot it like in real time. Like you were going to the classics mm -hmm. and you were like, this is what I'm, like it was very realistic. That's what I tried. I tried, yeah. change, I, instead of just sitting down for like 20 minutes and showing things, I was like, I have ADHD, so I'm like, if I can't sit through it, no one else can, especially with TikTok. It's so hard when you're like, well, I could just make this video a TikTok like 20 times yeah. faster. In the same way, way where you get into a meeting, you're like, this could have been an email. Yes, yes, same thing. So I'm like, okay, well, I still want it to fill YouTube vibes. But yeah, I was trying to think of more older YouTube videos. So I was like, what's a way I could do a morning routine? Is that an earthquake? Is it someone above? It does sound Whoa. like they're banging. <gasps> it was, that rhythm was steady. Do, 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 do. Wait, guys, our neighbors are fucking. Yeah, the ones above, damn, at least someone's getting it, you know? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Afternoon delight. Yeah. What were we talking about before we were interrupted by our neighbors having sex? What's in my purse? <laughs> What's in your purse? <laughs> Condoms. Uh, uh, exa exactly, exactly. Like we can modernize it a little bit, mm -hmm. but yeah, maybe even like a morning routine or an afternoon routine. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, well, at 4.30 p.m., <laughs> clock strikes. 
I love that. Okay, mm. obsessed with that idea. Yeah. You know what else I'm obsessed with? What? Wicked. Boom. Psh, doom. Actually, while we're recording this right now, it has not happened. But by the time that this is out, it would have happened. And don't you worry, the next episode of Pretty Basic is going to be a very exciting one because we are going to be recapping the fact that Alicia Marie and Remy Cruz are going to the Wicked premiere. Okay. Hold, hold for <laughs> excitement. Here's the thing. I'm Everybody just... that's driving, I know you're screaming. Screaming. Okay, take it down a notch. We are going to the Wicked premiere. The, the one thing I hate about saying it before we go is if like, you know what, if for whatever reason, we oh. don't end up there. It's hey, look, it's fine. We're not gonna cut any of this out of the episode. As of right and, now, we are going to yes, the premiere. Yes, 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 yes. As of uh November 4 30 p.m. Nope, October 29th, <laughs> 4 31 p.m. Yes. Um, and here's the thing. I I'm so excited. Did I already like book glam by my dress and everything? Yeah. But again, like if if something happens, like I just it feels a little early and I'm scared to like talk about it in case it doesn't happen, but like, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. And even if it doesn't, everything happens for a reason. Yes. And we and can no still- no good deed goes unpunished. Exactly. And we can still go fully dressed up and just like stand on the sidelines. No, we can go, yes. Or we could wear it to the movies. You're so wear right. Your florals. Wear your florals. <laughs> <laughs> wear your florals, girls. <laughs> I just, we're going to take a quick tangent, then we'll go back to Wicked. I just had Cal watch um, It Ends With Us. Oh. And- it was very interesting watching his reactions. Mm-hmm. He was very into it, obviously. But um, yeah, I was like, isn't it crazy now after watching all of this, Blake Lively said, wear your florals. And he was like, that's <laughs> actually insane. Yeah. It was quite insane. I really think the Barbie of it all just, you know, like wicked, wear your, wear your pink, wear your green. Like I get it. <laughs> but also like no one needs to say it. Like a yes. moment will make a moment yeah. on its own. You're so right. You know what I mean? Okay, it's quick tangent back now to wicked uh-huh. because- um, More importantly. Most importantly. Most importantly. Um, if, I mean, I, if you guys know, um, this is a huge thing in our friendship um, and we're huge uh, wicked fans. And I- am screaming, crying, throwing up. No, it's really crazy. Wicked means so much to me. I remember seeing it for the first time. I think I was in fourth or fifth grade. I couldn't remember exactly what year, but I was very young, became obsessed with the soundtrack. And I would literally make Shane dress up as Alphaba and I'd be Glinda, obviously. And we would just perform for my parents like every single night. Like it was, it means so much to me. And like, I feel like my my little inner child is healing. I'm so excited. No, like I, you, you probably were in like fifth grade because I was in eighth grade when I saw it. Mm. Um, and that like we're so different. We're so different. Regardless, I also saw it in middle school, and mm-hmm. oh my god, it it was life altering. Like it truly changed me mm-hmm. in so many ways. Like you said, the soundtrack alone, we'd play it every day going to school. Oh, and having a sister, I bet that was so fun. This is just how I know we were meant to be best friends because I was wanting to be Alphaba all the time. Like when we'd be singing, I'd be like, you take Glinda. <laughs> that so tracks. That, that but, tracks. But it tra- like the fact that you are like, Shane, you're Alpha, I'm Glinda. <laughs> and I'm like, Ashley, you're Glinda, Wait, I'm Alphaba. <laughs> you just have to find your Alphaba to your Glinda. The peanut butter to your jelly. Wait, that's so cute. No, it's so funny. And then, oh my God, I literally was looking for it because I was, Obviously I was planning for the premiere. I was like, oh, wait, I know I have a photo of me when I went to see it. It wasn't the first time, but I think it was like the second or third time when I wore my like green sparkly stripper heels. Um, <laughs> I don't know how my mom let me do this. They were $10 <laughs> in clearance. So me and my friend got some and then we wore them to see Wicked. Um, uh, did you go to New York and watch it? Pantages. Oh, okay, okay. You know how it's so steep? I don't remember Pantages. It's so steep deep to really? get down to your seat. And I was there in my little stripper heels, like <laughs> <laughs> holding every single seat yeah, going yeah, down. Like, <laughs> <laughs> don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. But I found the photo, insert here. Yes. I found the photo um, of me seeing it. And it was like so crazy. Cause I was just looking at it. I was like, if I could go tell this little Alicia that she would be attending the Wicked premiere. Insane. Oh my God, it's crazy. Like I didn't even think that would like, would be possible. It just feels like also such a long time coming. Like I know they've been planning to make this movie for like a decade or however long it's been. And the fact that it's finally here and the fact that we get to go and we get to go together and dress up. I remember thinking it would be such a good movie. Like I'm sure they'll make it into a movie one day. Mm -hmm. Here we are, Mm -hmm. like here we are. Also, I've only heard good reviews so far. Oh yes. Only good. Also thank you to Universal for taking us or having us come. We're very, very, as you can tell, we're very excited. The dress is ordered. (laughs) 
<laughs> the dress is being rushed. It's being rushed from a different country. Also, like, I was not going to take the premiere as seriously until Alicia, <laughs> uh, multiple dresses, stylist, glam. I was like, oh, we are going Remy, all out. Like, my goal is that someone, a random person, is like, oh my God, you must be part of the cast. <laughs> like, I want someone to literally think we're part of the cast. You are on your way there, girl. No, and you know what? I don't need, like, they're gonna be like, oh, like, what's your role? Do you have a line? Do you have a line? What are you wearing? Do you have a line? I'm like, no. <laughs> I want Just someone to fan. come up to you and be like, Ariana. <laughs> okay, well, that's not happening, but. Yes, it's happening. You know what I realized also? <laughs> I obviously love Ariana. She's my number one. I've seen her in concert many a times, but like far away, if we see her up close, I think I might actually no, Remy, lose my goddamn mind. You're going to, and here's the thing, like we will, like even just being in the same theater, like it's closer than a stadium tour. You Wait, know what I mean? I'm like actually not mentally prepared no, for this. No, Remy, like when I tell you, like she's somehow gonna like repost your pic or like something like that. And you're not, you're gonna be so, I'm gonna be filming you the whole time. It'd be the best plus one ever. <laughs> like you have no fucking idea. <laughs> But when it you comes really to, are the best when plus it comes one the, When it comes to the carpet, throw you my shit. And then, <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Hey, is she from the movie? <laughs> she doesn't even belong there. She's just a plus. Bitch, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter now when you're wearing that dress. Exactly. Plus who? They're going to be like, oh, here, here. She's talent. <laughs> I was so excited though. I was really thinking like, I've never actually seen her like up close. And I think- oh, I haven't either. Like I, I, concert is one thing, but I think like seeing her like on a carpet or something like tangibly in front of me, like to the point where I could touch, but I, I won't, of course. <laughs> you, it's <laughs> reaching. I think I'm gonna have like a crazy, crazy experience. You just, she's like she's your real. number one. She's real. She's your number one. Like I know she's real, but like I, she's your number literally one. worship the ground that woman walks on. I'm it's gonna really be amazing. Excited. It's gonna be so fun. We're literally going to New York uh, a little bit before it. We're gonna go see Wicked mm -hmm. live, the musical front row, mm -hmm. just to like really, you know, reimmerse ourselves, remember. And last time we went, um, I did force you to watch Hamilton instead of Wicked. So yes. now we're going and we're gonna see Wicked. I would love, I'm so excited. I still really did like Hamilton though. I know I you did, I, but for not being a lyrics girl, halfway through, I was like, fuck. It's just, it's really <laughs> hard because it, it's hard to keep, like keep up with. Well, and like, there's no dialogue. It's all rapping basically. Yeah, and um, for not being a lyrics girl, it's like, what are they talking about? Yeah, <laughs> but I like understood the gist Yeah, yeah. and I am an Eliza girl. Eliza. I um started listening to a Wicked podcast. <gasps> Oh. It's called A Sentimental Man. It's very good. Wait. What? I know you don't like that song. That's I don't like it That's my least either. favorite song. It could have, they could have come. I feel like there could have been a better name. Sorry, I'm coming for this podcast. <laughs> oh, it's like literally on the Broadway network, I believe, but they interview mm. a lot of, I believe it's all the Glindas and Alphabas of like past. I just feel like they could have gone, maybe, you know what? I bet that was like their fourth choice and the first ones were taken <laughs> or something. I'm just, I'm I just, think it's good. It has it's to cute, but like, I just feel like there could be a better pun, you know, or mm. like a better. Let's see you do better. Pretty basic. <laughs> <laughs> I loved it though, I have to say. It's very interesting to hear. I've listened to quite a few of my favorite Glinda's and Alpha Buzz. Yeah. And um, overall, I'm just, I'm really, really excited. I think it's gonna be such a fun bonding moment for us. So the next time that we come on the pod, we'll give you guys the, all the tea. Yes. All it's gonna tea, be so good. Thinking about the fact that we are going to the Wicked premiere, mm -hmm. and this is the big premiere. It had us thinking about our little selves. And then also just had us thinking like in general of life and timelines and plans and things and like us being little watching Wicked being obsessed. We could have never imagined that we would end up at the premiere. You know what I mean? Even when someone asks you like, what is your five-year plan? Where do you it's like see yourself in five years? Yeah. Five years ago, I was 25. COVID was about to hit. Oh my God. Little did we know. And it was crazy because I feel like that feels like yesterday. Also feel, it feels like a lifetime ago. But I remember when I was 25 or how 24, when, if someone had asked me like, what was your five year, five year plan? I feel like I probably would have been like, I don't know. Like I, maybe I answered it on the internet somewhere, but I'm I just sure. like, I can't even imagine. I, I probably said, I hope that I'm like in a relationship and married. I probably said something along those lines. Well, five years sounds so far. So it's like, oh, I'm sure by then, blah, 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 X, yeah. Y, Z. Like, yeah. I'm sure by then this will happen or I'm sure by then this. And I feel like that's one thing I've not, I don't wanna say I hate about myself, but I feel like that's something I tend to do. I guess it depends in certain situations, but it's like, okay, but if that's what I want, then like, let's make steps to get there versus mm. just thinking, oh, well, it's gonna happen one day. Or like, oh, I'm sure that'll happen by then. But like, if you're not putting in active steps today, 
that's not going to happen. Yeah. Because each day is like, instead of like living in the future of like, well, what's going to happen by then? I don't know. That's something I've done where I'm like, oh, I'm sure by then blah, blah, blah will happen. And then five years go by like that. Yeah. Like so quick. Yeah. And then you look back and you're like, oh, well now where am I going to be in five? And it's like, yeah. I, I've dreamt of this moment and here I am being like, just focusing on the next thing still. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I see that. Okay, I'm gonna talk about how one of my favorite secrets for feeling super confident all day, Smart Mouth mouthwash. Smart Mouth is the only mouthwash scientifically proven to eliminate and prevent bad breath for 24 hours with just two rinses a day. Smart Mouth prevents bad breath 12 times longer than the leading brand. We've all been there. Maybe you have a big meeting or you're about to go on a date and the last thing you wanna worry about is bad breath. Why is it so embarrassing? It shouldn't be. It's natural. But at the same time, let's fix it, you know? And the way I've been fixing it is Smart Mouth. It has been my go-to. It has this unique dual chamber bottle with two powerful solutions that only mix together right before you rinse. This special smart zinc technology is what makes it work so well. It actually stops sulfur gas from forming. So it stops the bad breath instead of just covering it up like other mouthwashes. Best part, it keeps your breath fresh for a full 24 hours. I just rinse in the morning and again before bed and I'm set for the day. Plus, if you're like me and always on the go, they have these little mouthwash like single packs that are perfect for tossing in your purse or your luggage. It's literally fresh breath anytime anywhere. So don't miss out on that all day freshness. You can find Smart Mouth at CVS, Walgreens, and Walmart, or visit www.smartmouth.com slash pretty basic to grab a special discount on your next purchase. That's S-M-A-R-T-M-O-U-T-H.com slash pretty basic. Your mouth will thank you. Okay, you guys know staying hydrated all day is a must for me, whether I'm working, filming, or just living life. And let's be real. I don't love when I have to think too hard about it. That's why I've been loving Gatorade's Hydration Booster. It's perfect for keeping me refreshed and energized without being too much, no matter what's on my plate for the day. I love that it's packed with electrolytes with natural sources. Think like watermelon juice, sea salt, and other sodium and potassium salts. Like when I saw that, I was sold. You guys know I love electrolytes. I love a little fun thing that I could add to my drink just to make it, you know, extra delicious. And it's formulated to help you stay hydrated without overloading on sodium or sugar, which is a huge, 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 huge win in my book. Honestly, I used to use a lot of electrolyte packets, but with the Gatorade Hydration Booster, it just feels lighter and it's got way fewer calories. There's only 30 per serving. And compare that to other electrolyte drinks that have 45 calories, you got a difference. That means I can drink this all day, whether I'm working, hanging with friends, or just chilling without feeling like I'm overloading on sugar. Oh, and there's no artificial flavors, sweeteners, or added colors. Just the good stuff that keeps me feeling my best, no matter what the day throws at me. And you guys know how much I love something that's not only effective, but also clean. And Gatorade Hydration Booster checks all those boxes. Even just the other day, I threw one in my bag because I was gone literally all day. And it was so nice knowing that I had it. I felt so hydrated and just energized throughout the whole busy day. And by the time I came home at night, I still felt great. Like I didn't feel so drained. So if you've got a packed schedule and need hydration that can keep up, this is it. Put your water to work with Gatorade Hydration Booster and feel the difference. Put your water to work with Gatorade Hydration Booster. You can use code BOOST20 on Gatorade.com to try it for yourself for 20% off. Hey guys, it's Alicia. And today I want to talk to you about something that has honestly been such a positive change in my life and that I'm just absolutely obsessed with my journey with hand and stone. I've talked about how much I love them before, but you guys, seriously, the results speak for themselves. So let's start with my first appointment at hand and stone. I started with their clarity RX hydrating facial. This isn't just any facial. It's like the ultimate facial. This treatment is all about deep hydration and who doesn't want that, right? Plus it includes red led light therapy, which is known to reduce fine lines and give you that radiant glow. The first time I walked into Hand and Stone, I immediately felt so cozy and relaxed. The atmosphere was so calming and the esthetician took time to consult with me and really understood my skin's needs since I'm always struggled with keeping my skin hydrated, but not too oily and just having my pores reduced. And it it really is just a personalized skincare coach and someone who gets your skin and how they can tailor it to have special treatments for you. But let's talk about results because that's what really matters. After my first facial, my skin felt so plumped and soft. The extractions didn't hurt at all. I could literally see the difference in my skin texture and tone. And I've always struggled with that. It's been so refreshing to incorporate these monthly facials into my routine, especially when I have a lot of filming in my schedule or big events coming up. And here's a little secret. Regular professional facials are essentially for maintaining that healthy, glowing skin. It really is all about consistency. My esthetician and I are building a relationship where she tracks my skin's progress over time. And I'm just loving how personalized the experience is. And let's not forget about the Hand in Stone membership. It makes scheduling appointments so easy, whether I'm at home or on vacation. If I miss a month, I don't lose any of the membership benefits. Plus, with over 600 locations across the U.S. and Canada, I can prioritize healthcare wherever I go. 
I highly encourage you all to book your first facial at Hand and Stone and experience the difference for yourself. As a special treat, if you use the code Pretty Basic Free at, you'll get free aromatherapy with your introductory facial. That's a ten dollar value, but hurry, this offer expires on December thirty first, twenty twenty four. One of my friends has been in her dating era and she told me that she's been on 300 dates in the past like year and a half. I mean, bitch, I wish. No, and I love that for her. But she was like, she's been doing like dating. Putting in the work. Like putting, putting in, in the, work. the work. Dating, 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 dating. And I was telling her, I was like, I, because she's like, I'm done. Like, I'm so tired of this. I was like, I understand. Like, that's a lot of time and yeah. effort and, and and energy and all those things. And I was like, maybe you like should like take a step back and, yeah. you know, stay home and relax and all these things. And she's like, it's just so hard because she's like, for so long, she didn't date. She didn't even try to date. She just stayed in her house. She was like, I'm not going to meet somebody just staying at my house. But also, obviously, this tactic isn't working for me yeah, either. So was, like, where do I find that happy medium? And I, I was like, I guess oh. you're right. Like staying home, nothing's going to happen. Like you're not going to meet anybody, but also like chasing it. So you're just not, not meet even like too. feeling anything with anyone. Uh, I think it's just not the right person. Yeah, because mm -hmm. I was going to say, I, I know one friend, I talked about this on the pod once, but she finally was like, okay, the same thing keeps happening with me dating all these guys. Like it's clockwork, like the same exact thing, copy paste. So I need to change something. And then she was like, you know what? I'm going to give regardless, like at the three month mark, like if I'm, if there's like, or maybe it was a month, I think it was a month. That sounds more like it. Um, she was very much like either, I don't want to waste your time and my time. Either you see this potentially going somewhere, or if not, we can still be friends, but like no hooking up, no whatever, but like standing by that boundary. And obviously that's harder than it, it, um, is to say, but boom, she's married. <laughs> <laughs> like she finally, like not, not finally, but she was like, I just had to get so real with myself and like stick to my own boundaries and like, boom, found someone. Good for her though. Like, so I think a lot of it's too, like, I don't know, but it's so much harder than I said. It is weird when someone asks you, where do you want to be in five years? Mm -hmm. Or where do you see yourself in five years? And you usually have these like bigger dreams. Oh, yeah. oh I'm going to like move here or I'm going to be married or I'll, I'll probably be engaged by then or yeah, a promotion or change my job career. Or, yeah, but you oh, do have to actively be taking the steps to be able to get there. Yeah, because just at least in my past, I feel like it's easy to be like, oh, I'm sure that'll happen by in five years. And then the next thing I'm like, oh, well, it didn't happen. Like, I can't just like l expect things to kind of like fall into your lap if you're not actively putting effort into that. I also, I've seen so many TikToks being like, um, think of like your most ideal like version of yourself of who you want to be in the future and write down what it is like characteristics what does she wear like what does um she like to eat like who does she hang out with all these things and then it was like okay now actually like do all that today like if you want to be someone who doesn't just sit around and watch tv don't do that today or like if you want to be if you at your most put together self wears heels every day then start wearing heels every day like you're so, you're so much closer to that future version of you than you think but you have to like actively do it i feel like that's so easy to say but like when you've talked about having a depressive episode and you like mm. can't get up. Yeah, I think how, that's different. Okay, yeah, like, yeah. but like, how does that, I, how can you still do that then if someone's like maybe going through a rougher time? I think that's a whole other, like, obviously if you're like mentally not able to, like that's a whole different thing. But mm -hmm. like, for instance, um, if, if, it, if it's like, oh, well, I never go on my phone in the morning and I only listen to podcasts. Like, okay, then start doing that. Like mm. it's more of like simple things like that because, okay. oh my God, psh, if I'm down bad, bye. No one can do anything. Yeah, because <laughs> that's the thing. It's, it, like, I, I agree with it, but I do think it's like not everyone can just do that. So I like the idea yeah. of like something small that like people yeah. can take little oh, steps. Oh, no, no. It's, it definitely is like very small things. Like, oh, if she only listens to this music, then start listening to Or like like not being on your phone before bed. It's like, oh, well, yeah, eventually I'll do that. But it's like, no, like actually that's start me. doing it now. That's actually so true because every night mm -hmm. I lay in bed and I play on my phone till I'm like, and I'm tired, but I stay up long enough for a second win of being awake. Mm -hmm. And it's so bad. And every night I'm like, I need to stop. I need yeah. to stop, but I do need to stop. One thing for me is I'm always, I've always wanted, like I've been journaling a little bit more, but I'm like, oh, I wish my morning routine, like before I go on my phone, I just sit and either read or like meditate and journal, like even for 10 freaking minutes. Like mm -hmm. I could just write down two sentences. It doesn't have to be a whole hour long thing, but I'm like, okay, then like start doing that. Don't sleep in four times past your alarm and then get up at the very last second. Like, yeah. so little things like that. It's yeah. That's something I'd like to get better at, but, but then your phone's there and you're like, eh, my bed's comfy. Like I can do it tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> it's like making an active choice and mm -hmm. decision to, to change. Agreed. Yeah. I see that. I cut my bangs this morning. Did you notice? They look good. Thanks. I was feeling like 
do I grow them out? Do I not? And I was like, it's fall. And I want that vampy fall moment just for a little longer. They grow really fast, don't they? They do. They do yeah. grow really fast. I will say I'm going to the hair salon tomorrow and I'm trying to decide if I want to keep my hair like the same color. I'm not going to do anything crazy, but do I want it more of a warmer chocolate brown? Do I want it like a darker chocolate, like dark chocolate brown? Um, do I just want to add a gloss? Part of me is also like, what if I do more of a caramely, like my natural light brown? But I don't know. I'm interested to see what you pick when you I come know. back out. I know. Um, oh my God, this happened the other day. Um, Ollie and I were at Target and we were in the parking lot and I was starting to start my vlog. And I was saying, oh my God, this, this feels like Vlogmas because I feel like, especially during Vlogmas, it's easy to, if you don't have a vlog, it's easy to be like, oh, I'll just go to Target later because <laughs> it's such a good vlog. That's me during Vlogmas. No, literally. I was like, and it was later in the day and I was like, oh, like I can still like start a vlog because to me, if I don't start my vlog in the morning, it feels like a waste. But I'm like, no, I can still vlog. I can start my vlog whenever in the day. I was thinking about that today. It's so, you and I vlog so differently because even last night when I was at your house and I was leaving after we recorded, you were like just verbally going over, like, I just happen to be sitting there and I could tell you were just talking to yourself, but you're like, I'm gonna wake up and vlog tomorrow and then something, something vlog and then this and that. And I was like, I, that's so interesting that you have such like a methodical process with it. And the only reason I do is because I've learned if I don't commit to it, it'll be half-assed and then I'll delete the footage. So like, mm -hmm. I have to make the conscious effort of like, okay, tomorrow I'm gonna vlog and focus on that. But if I have like, like I do the best when I have one thing a day that I'm focusing on, like today's the podcast, right? Ah. So my vlog probably like kind of in my head sucks today because I can't give it my all, but like, I'm still going to vlog a little bit, but like, That's so interesting. if I had to film like main channel stuff and have a podcast the same day and then try to do TikToks and vlog, they'd all be shit. That's so, so I've interesting. Learned, wow. I've learned like, okay, if I'm doing the podcast, then I'm, or if I am vlogging, I'm vlogging and yeah. I'm going to like commit to it. Or yeah. if I'm not, then then I'm just gonna have two clips. So and I'm not you, gonna throw the two clips in a vlog. You think of like a main, like a vlog as if it's like its own separate entity. Like mm -hmm. you, like today is a podcast day. Tomorrow could be like a vlog day. The next day could be like a main channel day. Very yeah. interesting. But that's only, I've only gotten here because there's been time and time again of me being stressed or being like, oh my God, well this sucks. Like now I'm behind and then I get in my head and then it's like, yeah, that's a system that has really worked for me. I do that too, but with everything but vlogging. In December, vlog camera at my side. Yeah. It's just like, it's a part of, it's a part of my arm. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's just, I don't think about it because it's just that. But outside of that, yeah. I think I just hate when I have so much random footage over three weeks and then I'm over it. But then I'm like, oh, I should post that. And then I just like wait because I don't want to post it. And then. And then it's a month. And, and then, then it's yeah. a month. And then I'm behind. And then I get like, oh, like so in my head about it. Yeah. Very interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I like do, I separate my days too between like, uh, main channel days, t podcast days, short form days, whatever. But vlogging is the one thing I don't ever think about. Uh, see, that's it's back of the mind. Just it's happening all the time. Uh, like even if it. I vlogged yesterday, cause yesterday was also a podcast day. I would be like, oh, this vlog sucks. Why did I even vlog today? There's like two clips. Also like if out of seven days, how many days are you like getting a clip for a vlog? A clip? Like at least one clip. Oh, well, um, uh, maybe like three. Really? Yeah. Wow. Because I've learned, I'm like, I'm not gonna do anything with that footage. Interesting. I wish I was the other way. Oh my God. Interesting. And then and then it's like the worst thing too is when you get comments being like, you just do the same thing every day. I'm like, well, one, I don't. <laughs> but, but two, I get how it can look like that because I vlog certain days when I don't have other things going no, on. Or like, makes, also you need, every creator needs to figure out a schedule that works for them. Yeah. And that also will keep them from burning out. That's, that's all that matters. Yeah. But what I hate is like, okay, if it looks like every vlog at some point, if especially if I combine days, it's like, okay, I'm going to the Pretty Basic studio. And then like, you don't see much of me at the studio. Mm. So I'm like, why did I even vlog me coming? Uh, I would have rather not had that mental stress. I see that. You know? I totally see that. I know, but you're the, the one like killing the vlogs. <laughs> but I will say like, that doesn't bother me. If I was like, hey, I'm gonna go to the studio and then I get home and I'm like, oh, I didn't vlog anything. Hey, I'm back, sorry, I forgot. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, honestly, that's something I should work on and try to be more okay with it. And I will it try to me. be more bothered. No, <laughs> I will. And I will try I to be triggered. More. I will, I, yeah, I will no, trigger No, 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 don't change anything about your vlogs. No, 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 no. And, but also like, again, whatever works out for you, but that makes total sense. Yeah. Also, I think something that just pop, popped in my head when you said that, uh, yes, we make our own schedules, which is really, it's the best thing in the world, truly. Like it's the, this is the best job, but there is a lot more uh, like redundancy and mundaneness to this life than I think a lot of people think. Well, yes. However, I think we've 
been able to establish those for us, for our sanity. Like we've given us a schedule and that we stick by mm -hmm. versus like, we're like, remember when things were like all over the place and we're trying to change things last minute. Oh my God, can we do like, we've made the routine in the systems. So yes. Like Tuesday's our podcast day. Cause we've done it before where it wasn't. And it yeah. was a hot mess. We've been able to like trial and error. Well, I'm just thinking of like someone saying that you do the same thing every day. It's like, well, oh. it's cause you've made your schedule to do that. And like, there is yeah. a lot more monotonous with our, like a, there's a lot more like repetitiveness with yes. creating than I think a lot of people think. Like if Sundays are my days where I stay home, I'm going to vlog, but then every, Every week, be home a, every week is a Sunday reset. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like that's all I do, but in reality it's not. But also like a lot of people, even creators are not like do Sunday reset. Yeah. So I don't think you should But if that's be, the one day I, mean to yourself. I film, then it just looks like that's all it is. But that's is, okay. You know? One of my favorite creators, her name's Clara. She, which was Luna's Clara. first name. Clara, she does a video every Sunday. She's a full-time creator, but she does a video every Sunday and she says, hi clean my house with me in the time that it takes to wash my sheets. So she puts her sheets in the washer. I've seen that. I love her and she cleans her whole house and I look forward to watching it like literally every yeah. single week because no. it's just, it's comforting and it's like, it's it's um, familiar to me. No, like I get it. Cause as a viewer, I love that shit too. I like the consistency, the repetitive, like I like seeing the same <clears> stuff. I'm like, just go get your coffee and do your laundry. Like that's all I want to watch. Yeah. But filming it, I can just be in my head. But all this to say, when we were in the Target parking lot, I was with Ollie and I was like, oh, this reminds me of Vlogmas. Um, and he was like, oh my God, are you excited? And I was like, honestly, I don't think I'm going to do it this year. And he was like, what? I would be, re be reacting more if you hadn't already told me, <laughs> but like, n n we need to take a moment. No. And like, that's I, crazy. That no, left no, no, your no, mouth. No, no. I know, I know, I know, I know. And I said this last year, um, because I was like, you know what? I, I uh, speaking of the five year thing, right. It's like, well, eventually one day I'm going to stop. So how do I want to like, I don't want to, I don't know. I think more than anything, this year, I feel like every day, and granted, I just recently like got on my right medication dosage. So I'm probably still like tired from all of that. Um, but I feel like every day I'm like, I don't think I could do it. Like mentally, I'm just like, I don't think I can commit to like 25 solid days and knowing how much stress and effort it is. Like it really is a lot of work. Um, and yes, I don't have to finish it, but that's where I'm trying to find a compromise. Cause I'm like, I'm not opposed to just vlogging or I'm like, maybe I just don't do a crazy intro or maybe I don't um, like make myself not miss a day. I don't know, but like I'm, I'm down to still vlog a lot. Also it's like not the end of the world, but I'm also gonna miss it if I just like don't do it. And I, I don't know. It is a weird thought that like at some point individually we will not do it anymore when yeah. we've done it consistently for 10 years. And I liked how last year was my 10th year. So it feels like a full like package of a bow of like, okay, I did it for 10 years of with like that format. Like maybe now 11 I'm just, for Mac baby 11 though. Uh, uh, oh my I'm just God. Kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm oh just my kidding. God. It's a Mac no, collab. You need, you like need that's, that's the uh, only iconic. An advent <laughs> calendar. Oh my no, God. you need to do whatever like works oh, for fuck. you. Also, maybe you do 12 days and then yeah. you just check in and see how you're feeling at day 12. I know. I just, or 10 days. I know. Literally whatever. I just like, it's hard for me to like say I'm going to do something and then not do it. And maybe don't call it Vlogmas. Well, I told Ollie I should call it Flopmas. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that so good? But already doing that, do you like, do you feel <laughs> better funny. about that? Yes, yes, yes. Then whatever you need to do yeah. to like save your sanity. No, yeah. I think, um, that's funny. I know. I was like, wait, that could be like so, and like the intro is like nothing. Like, like just like, nothing like scribbles or something. I don't know. I was like, that could be fun. I dropped but my life. All that. Yeah. Oh my God. All that to say. Yeah. Like when I think of myself in five years now, I'm like, will I be, I don't know. Or maybe I'll have like a whole second win. And maybe like, this is just a year where I'm like, I don't think I can do it. And that's fine. Mm -hmm. And again, it's not that big of a deal. People can still relate this to maybe they've always done a certain holiday at like one relative's house. I was just going to say the like, first time I went away for Christmas yes. was really crazy. Yeah. Like eventually stuff like that's going to happen. So it's like, one, embracing the change, two, being like, okay, this is just a different era. Like it can be different. It doesn't have to be how I've always pictured it. I think for you to sit here and say that though is really crazy because you a few years ago would have not given yourself that grace at yeah. all, at all. Yeah, I think then I've always just been so all or nothing. So I'm like, if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna fully do it. But watch, I could see me still like unintentional because now there's no pressure, like just still vlogging every day. Like yeah. I'm still down to vlog all the time, but I kind of feel like I've missed not, and I don't want to say I, I dread it. And maybe it's just me mentally now, even though I feel so much better. I feel like, like the thought of like faking anything feels exhausting to me. And like, if there's a day where I'm like, I don't want to pretend to be happy and decorate my house. Like, I don't want to fucking uh, do it. Like, yeah. and I know that sounds 
crazy. That doesn't sound crazy. That sounds really normal and healthy. Okay, yes, but like I just feel like like anyone who doesn't do it is just like it's not that big of a deal. But um, oh, that's what like I, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. it's dumb. But here's the thing: I totally understand. Like vlogmas, like this is the most dumb conversation to anybody who doesn't know what vlogmas is. Like I totally exactly. understand that. But like if you get it and you know, yeah. like it is, it's a it's a good co- it's a conversation you have to have. Yeah, not that it's like our finals week, but in a way, like it is. Like it's like that time of the year, like where it's like usually just hustle because like for whatever reason, you know. Um, but yeah, so it's like, I wanna I wanna be gentle on myself. Um, I've also, I've like started to, maybe it's cause Ashley's also moved out. I'm like, I just like, or maybe I, could, maybe I can make it more fun that way. I just feel like, not that I'm dreading to decorate, but I'm like, like, is this even fun anymore? Like, I'm like, I need to change something, you know? Whether it's the content, whether it's just my outlook, whether it's the structure, something. Cause I'm like, I can do the exact same thing I've done all of the years, but I don't wanna be like, Day two, again, I'm getting my tree up. Like, it's like, it feels so repetitive in certain ways. So I feel like maybe I'm just lacking creativity with like, you know, like the fact that it's formulaic of like day one, setting up my Christmas tree, day two, uh, shopping for Christmas decor. And then it's like the breakdown's usually around day 13. And then day th- after day 13, then like there's a few vlogs that are just like, what the fuck is this? And then it's like, you get that last win, you know, like I, yeah. I mean, I... I've done it just as long and I don't feel that way at all. See, that's where I'm like, am I like, I don't know if I mentally can like, if I'm already like kind of dreading it in yeah, some ways, I'm like, maybe it's not. Don't do it if you are dreading it. But I do think you have the ability to fit, find a different way, like a way more creative way yeah. to still enjoy it. I, I or think- like maybe they're not like not edited vlogs or a thing. It's like, maybe there's like, there's like no, that's the challenge. There's like no editing. I don't know. Like, or even just like a one minute video is good enough or something. At the, yeah, it, literally whatever. At the end of the day, you just have to be like having fun. If you're already dreading it, don't do it. Yeah. Or try something different. Like mm-hmm. it's, it, I don't think, I, from what it sounds like, it just sounds like don't follow the formula. That's what I, yeah. I think also I just like, I didn't realize how much of this year my mental health was all over the place. So yeah. like, I'm scared of like getting to that place again, just because it is so mentally exhausting. And I don't think it's worth it. I know. It's still, I don't think push yourself. But then yourself. it makes me sad. I know, but like, again, going back to that five year thing. Oh my God, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> like it, at some point it, it is going going to end. Most yeah. likely next year, it'll that'll be it for me. I really do. Like I feel like I've been training myself this year yeah. to be able to do it. Um, But, and again, I understand how like vapid this conversation sounds outside of it, but like this is, it's a it's a part of the the, the lifestyle community like it, it's, a, it, it's I understand <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. trust me I get it but um yeah I feel I personally feel like I've I've been I've kept up the cadence of which I feel not overwhelmed by it which is crazy because like you vlog so much all the time I don't know how you but I think that's the training like you know what Oof. I mean like if I wasn't doing that then I think I'd feel really overwhelmed yeah. but I can't say that's probably gonna be me next year honestly yeah. it probably won't yeah. so like and at some point it has to end. Yeah, but then it's and sad when things everything, end. Though. I know. It's sad when things are like changing. It's like inside out too. No, literally. It's true though. I mean, I think in your oh. your answer could change tomorrow. This but, is so crazy. <laughs> no, but I mean, it is. It, I think it also like, as again, as silly as Vlogmas is, it signifies so much more for us than just posting 25 vlogs. Like it's literally not that at all. Yeah. Aww. I like, I also don't want to let anyone down. I know. And that's the thing. It signifies so much more. And like, it is, it's definitely also hard when we're getting tagged in TikToks all the time that are like, it's fucking vlogmas. And like people are relying on you for like, to get them out of their seasonal depression. Like that is really hard, of course. No, like I get it when, oh my God, I'm sobbing. What the fuck? I just like, I know what it's like to like watch someone when you're not doing mentally good. So like, I don't want to not be that for people, but obviously they can just go watch Miss Remy. <laughs> <laughs> my, my intro every day is just, you're it's really, just a lit- you're really, you're really <laughs> You know what though? You can't, you cannot oh, put your mental health yeah, I know, I above know, I know. other people's. You really can't. And also- But we both do that. But- <laughs> Still, we're talking about vlogmas right now. You can't do that. I know, I know. And I know. also, like, it's fine. You know what, bitch? Download all 2023, repost them. No, Every, oh, you're no one will even know. Who's gonna know? <laughs> just change the year. Yeah. Like, if I'm wearing merch, just mask the. Um... Pick a year when you had blonde hair and just make, yeah. like, AI it to have brown uh, with bangs. No, you need to, like, I. 
you need to, if you don't feel like you're in the right headspace, do not. And this goes for literally anything. If you have the choice to not be able to, don't push yourself. No. Because even like there was a year where things were really bad and you did and it was like, it was detrimental. Yeah. So we're going to learn from the past and we're going to go easy on ourselves. Yeah. We're going to have a breakdown on day 13. Say you need a break. You come back day 15. Hey, day 12. <laughs> <laughs> never forget. Never forget. <laughs> Remy, you are heartbroken. You're like, I just need a Vlogmas break. The title, the thumbnail is like, I can't do it. Quitting Vlogmas. And then you were gone one fucking day. And then you come back smiling. I think it was a manic episode. <laughs> I think it was low key a manic episode. No, a lot of it's the pressure we put on ourselves. It's For not sure. the pressure from anyone. For like, sure. obviously everyone's like, even when I've said this before, people are like, oh my God, it's fine. Like do whatever. Like they don't fucking care. At the end of the day, like they actually don't care. Like, yeah. like the world will keep spinning. But no, I do yeah. understand like what it signifies to us as like little, like not little. Well, what, how about 20? Well, going back yeah, to like I our when I was 19. You yeah. were what, 21? Like we were young and we were, and before then we watched so many people, Ingrid and, and Blair and all these other people, Claudia, like all these, Aspen, all these people doing it. That was like, I don't know. I, I feel like a lot of me also with um, YouTube in general, I don't know if you feel this way too. I felt left out a lot of certain things mm. or just like, I don't know. I just was such a fan. Mm -hmm. And so it's still really, I know I can be such a fan girl, but it's still really weird for me to like have people now that I used to like be obsessed with, like, like me, respect me, want to talk to me. So I'm always just like, Every room I'm in, I'm I'm gagged no, to this day. Literally, the day that Blair Fowler saw me and was like, "Oh my god, hey!" And I was like, Ugh. "No," I, and like that's I was like, the "Do thing. you want to see the photo from when I met you as a fan?" No, but, but, but that, you know what I mean. Yeah. I think that's something that we deal with a lot too. Is still to this day, it's just like wanting to be liked a lot because like little Remy and little Alicia, who were just new YouTubers or simply just viewers, yeah, like can't even believe that like people want to talk to us now. Yeah, but and like I do think like a lot of the vlogmas like pressure, like that, how much, what vlogmas signifies to us and like why we feel like we have to carry that on is because of like how much we respected other people. And again, it's literally vlogs in December. It's not fucking curing cancer, but like it means so much to us as people and yeah. as creators. Yeah. And like, yeah. we will pass the torch on to another, to a little Gen Z girl who has so much energy. Who also, was like, this is fucking easy. I done did it to myself. <laughs> I'm it's the one the who intros, made It's the intros, girl. Right, no, but like, and even th the fact that I'm even like, yeah, I just want to have an intro this year. Like that's like, I don't know. It just signifies a lot more. It, not even just Vlogmas, but just like, I mean, we're just getting older too. I know. It's a lot to keep so up with. So then it with. just makes, yeah. It's it like, is. ah, I feel good now. Good. <laughs> Sometimes you just need a little cry. Change is weird. Uh, change, and then you're going to be married. <laughs> And then I can't just come over anymore. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, you can. I'm going to have to ask your husband. Ew, no. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. Alicia sent me this uh, video on TikTok the other day. And it was like my <laughs> husband coming home to, it was her, the wife and the best friend, like literally looking like um, they had like blankets over their yeah. heads and they were just like doing stupid shit. And they were like dying laughing. I love, like when I think, obviously when you were younger, I don't know. I just feel like our parents' generation, like they were so mature at such a young age that like, not that they didn't have that but it's so cool at least like I don't know I don't know I guess like I never saw that but like to see on TikTok like like the still like the youthfulness of like oh, what friendships can be and stuff I'm Absolutely. like that's so cute the amount of times I tell Alicia like when we're out and about like doing something stupid not <laughs> not stupid but just being like silly and I'm like and then soon there will be a baby here, but we'll no, still be doing it. Like literally. We'll be safe, of course. Us buying <laughs> Sunny Angels, you're like, imagine me with a baby here. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, you'd have to buy some for them too. I know. <laughs> but we won't, no, we won't share. I mean, until they like can make cognitive <laughs> like thoughts, like what's the point? No, it'll, it's going to be so fun. Like we're going to have so much fun with a baby. Oh, I can't wait to be, I it's can't wait be to be an aunt. It's going to be so great. Not for a while. Don't worry. No, I can't wait. But like in some ways I'm like, wait for me. But in other ways I'm like, no, let me have a kid now. Not now, but well, you know, there's a world where we have it on time. In a year? <gasps> Not in a year. Would you be pregnant in a year? No. Oh, no. <laughs> Will you be pregnant in a year? Not that I uh, would plan, <laughs> but you know, things happen. <laughs> Crazier things have happened. I like, I'd have a, like, if I got pregnant, I'd have a kid. Yeah. You know, I mean, that's mm. picture me just like like no you'll be such a cute six pregnant months girl. pregnant I can't wait for like the shoot <laughs> <laughs> like the way like <laughs> and the baby but obviously the baby but like the way that I'm excited for my wedding for my bachelorette but you're excited <laughs> for a baby to, for the pregnant for the pregnancy shoot <laughs> I'm we are not ready for wedding a wedding or a baby yet no no no, no. <laughs> we're not we're not but like I just love how it's normal to like 
not just wear <clears throat> like maternity clothes are cute now i was like, wondering where you like, were going like the like you can show the bump now you know so cute like, i love it not be a thing all in all change is weird i know well, okay where do you it's think so you'll be in five years we wanted to have this like enlightening conversation and yet it's just like well, this is just a talk that you and I would have on my couch. Just no, like, literally, like I kind of forgot. And I'm like, oh, this is so embarrassing. We were like People trying like, to be very enlightening. We're trying. That's okay. You know what, Remy? And if we're just ourselves, like that's enough. Yes. You guys, the holidays are approaching and it's my favorite time of the year for a reason. But I'm going to be honest, it can be a little overwhelming. You guys know one of my love languages, definitely gift giving. But trying to find perfect presents for everyone on my list, it's really not easy. And that's why I'm so grateful for the Skims a holiday shop this year. They really nailed it by putting everything in one place, whether it's something cozy for your bestie, Lux for your family, a small treat for yourself, or even something for your dog. Skims has you covered. I honestly started my shopping early this year because once I saw their holiday shop, I knew it'd be my one-stop destination for every every one of my loved ones. Also, you guys know how much I just love their comfy loungewear, especially around the holidays when it's just all about cozy vibes and good times with your loved ones. I'm obsessed with the Skims soft lounge sleep set. And this season they've released it in these beautiful holiday colors. When I saw it, I knew I had to get it. It's honestly the perfect thing to wear around the house. It's super soft and comfy and it's cute enough that I just feel put together, whether I'm hanging out with my friends or catching up on holiday movies or just, enjoy, you know, enjoying a quiet night in. It's my go-to. Plus, it's a really easy but thoughtful gift. And I'm literally buying these sets for everyone in my life this year. My mom, my friends, every single person. <laughs> so if you want to make your holiday shopping super simple this year, head over to the Skims Holiday Shop at skims.com. They've got something for everyone, women, men, kids, and even pets. Skims really thought of everyone. You're totally going to find the perfect gift. And when you check out, don't forget to let them know that we sent you. Just select podcast in the survey and choose Pretty Basic from the drop down menu. It seriously means so much when you do that. And this is honestly the easiest way to find gifts that people will actually use and love. So don't wait. Go check it out. Shop at skims.com. All right, guys, I need to put you onto something because it has made my life so much easier, especially since living alone. You know, I'm not cooking for a lot of people. Taylor Farms chopped salad kits. Okay. These salads are seriously a game changer. They deliver the freshest, best tasting salads to eat at home, or even, you know, you can make it on the go right now. I'm obsessed with the everything chopped salad kit. It's packed with romaine, shredded broccoli, cabbage, green onions, and these everything bagel seasoned cheese crisps. I think that's what they are. They're so good. And don't even get me started on the creamy everything ranch dressing. It is so good. It's amazing. It's the perfect mix of textures and flavors. And it just feels like a total treat. Plus it's ready to go right out of the bag so I can throw it together in no time. You can also make it your own. You can throw in like grilled shrimp or grilled chicken or extra toppings if you're feeling crazy. It's awesome. Or you can just have it as is. The best part is that all of the toppings and dressings are packed separately so you can use as much or as little as you want. Some days I'm feeling like I want a lot of dressings. Other days I'm not feeling like I want that much and I just want a little bit. So you can just make it however you like. You can really tailor to your taste. Also, can we take a second to appreciate that Taylor Farms is a family owned company? They've got over 30 different chopped salad flavors. So there's really something for everyone, even people who don't think they like salads. Trust me, there is one you will love. These kits have made my life so much easier. Again, just not cooking for that many people. It is so nice. It's easy to meal prep. So if you want to keep things easy and delicious, head over to your local grocery store and grab a Taylor Farms chopped salad kit. Trust me, you're going to love it. It's the perfect way to enjoy a fresh and flavorful meal in just a minute. <laughs> I just posted a blog today where I was talking about, we'll get back to the five year conversation in a second. Yeah. But I um, recently went to a workout class and I woke up in the morning and I put on, I had bought this um, set active set that was just leggings and like a sports bra. And I always wear some sort of like long sleeve or like mm -hmm. tank top or shirt or something on top of my, my, um, workout set just because I don't feel super comfortable like with my stomach out mm -hmm. um but I woke up and I was like mm, no we're doing it today we're gonna do it and so I went and I was so insecure the entire class I was like over like I was looking at my stomach the entire time I was looking at all the other girls in class I was just comparing myself and I like caught myself like being so mean to myself mm. in class and I was like Mm, no, we're not doing that today. You're like, bitch, we've been there. We're not doing that again. Literally, I like, but it's so hard because like you can't, sometimes it just, mm -hmm. the thoughts come in and I'm happy that I now have the tools to stop it. At yeah. some point in my life, I did not. And I went down a very bad path. I had the tool, I now have the tools to stop it. So I like stopped it. And I did like a little heart to heart with my vlog where I was like, I honestly don't have any other answer. Like I don't have an answer. Like I wish I had like, um, some sort of like enlightening information to share or like a thought that I had. I was like, I just want to let everyone know, like I was thinking this in class mm. and like, I'm not proud of it, but it happens. Yeah. But it's like, 
sometimes you just have to talk that stuff out, even if you don't have like some beautifully articulate, enlightening wait, conclusion. Wait, that reminds me of um, Sean Mendez's concert yes. of him talking about his sexuality. And he was yeah. like, I don't know. And I think I know some days and then other days I don't know. And I'm yeah. just figuring it out. And I was like, I love that so much just because it's like, I don't know. Like, I feel like a lot of times people are like, you have a platform, like you should stand for this or do this or whatever, like all these different things. And it's like, it's okay to also be like, I'm figuring it out and I don't know. Mm -hmm. Like for him, I know he like, oh my God, ever since he ever started, people are like, oh, he clearly he's gay. Clearly he's gay. Or like talking about his sexuality before he's even talked about it, yeah. which is so unfair. And he and was a kid. Sean Mendes? Yeah, he was so young. He was on I Vine. I thought you said he has a kid. Oh, no, no. He was oh, a was kid. Be, I was like, he has a kid. <laughs> no, he was a kid. Yes, yeah. exactly. He was a kid. So Yeah, imagine like people screaming at you that you're gay and you don't even know yeah. anything yet. Like that's so inappropriate. Yeah, like, 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 I don't know. I just, I thought it was very beautiful how he talked about it. Mm -hmm. And it shows that just because you are in the light, like you can still be figuring something out. And For it's sure. not like- you have to do, I don't know, like we're all human, like, mm -hmm. you know, and it's okay to like, whether it's changing your mind or figuring shit out, like it's okay to figure it out. Mm -hmm. I wanted to share it because I feel like I've been so vocal mm -hmm. about how like happy I am and my hormones and da 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 da. Mm. And I'm like, yay, 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 yay. And I was like, um, I can't only share how good everything is right now yeah, because that would be doing myself and our viewers that deserve a disservice. Yeah. So I wanted to share and I didn't have anything else to say other than like, I am still struggling with body dysmorphia. I definitely probably will till the day that I die. Yeah. Um, but that's okay. And yeah. every day is a new day and change is okay. Yeah. And change can be hard, but we're taking it day by day. What if we say, where do we see each other in five years instead of ourselves? Oh my God. Wait, I love that. Me too. Pregnant with quintuplet. Oh, <laughs> one for each year. Huge. <laughs> Just kidding. Five years, you'll be 30. Wait, 36. Six. Oh my God. <gasps> She'll be in her mid 30s. Oh, no. Sorry. It's fine. It's fine. That's what I said about 30. And now I'm here and I'm like, oh my God, 30 is the new 20. But like right now, I'm like, Ugh. it sounds <laughs> scary. But like, look at Taryn's 36. Don't even. Like, okay, Taryn's so Remy, young. You're like, I'm 30 next year. No, I actually feel totally fine about being 30 now, everybody. Good. I just needed a little freak out and I'm feeling really good. Literally as I'm me sitting right here now. in my businesswoman outfit. Wear the clothes that she wears. Huh? <laughs> Wear the clothes that your 30 year old self wears. Oh, yes. <laughs> Wait, that's so funny. No, I'm, I'm actually feeling a lot better about it. I had my moment and I talked to my parents about it actually. And they gave me like a really good little like oh, I love that. speech of just like, it's gonna be okay. You truly, you're gonna be like, now what? <laughs> true, true. Predicting your next five years. I think you will find love in, ooh, I'm really tapping into my intuition, just so you know, which I have a really good intuition. I think you will find love in summer of 2026. Oh, she went specific. Mm -hmm. I think that you will get married fall 2027. And then I think <laughs> you will get pregnant in December, 2027, which means you will give birth September or October, 2028. Aaliyah, no. I think you're gonna have a Virgo. Oh. I do. Okay. okay. Maybe Libra. Watch your eyes. Mm, Virgo. And then <laughs> it's gonna be a girl. You're gonna be 34 in five years. Oh my God, yeah. I think in within the next five years, obviously you're gonna be married. <laughs> you're like, Duh. you're gonna get married. You're, wait, wait, let me tap into that intuition. <laughs> I'm seeing a wedding. <laughs> I'm seeing She's really a beautiful. Good. <laughs> Ooh, lots of lots of PR around it. <laughs> Bridesmaids, hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, wait, I'm gonna literally use that sound for my wedding video. <laughs> you should. <laughs> You should use it for the TikTok you make at my wedding. Oh my God. Wait, we have to talk about my wedding after this. Because yes, yes, we had a yes, really yes. funny conversation. That yesterday. I mean, obviously you are getting married next year. Um, ooh, I, I mean, obviously within the five years you'll have kids, but I'm trying to think of what year you're going to have kids. I want it to be next year. So it's so funny because I know when. Your plan. I know my plan, so I'm curious. Yeah, but everyone's plan's different. Everyone's plan is different, but I'm curious if you're going to guess what my plan is. I think 26 is when you are going to for sure want kids. At least start trying or not not trying. That's always a thing. 
Th- my, we're not not trying. One of my best friends, the first week she was not not trying. Like they like, she, she got off birth control. Yeah. And she was like, we're not going to not try. Boom, pregnant. <laughs> I saw a really funny meme and we might have to cut this because it's so vulgar. It was like, when someone tells me that they're not not trying, so you're just fucking raw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're like, thank you for telling me that. You're like, I've spent my whole life avoiding this situation <laughs> and now I'm like actively like trying. No, it's like a really, like when you really think about it, it's like actually a crazy thing to say, we're trying for a baby. Oh, so you're just having unprotected sex. Yeah, like yeah. Thanks, now I'm thinking about that. Yeah. Thank well, you. Our neighbors two seconds ago. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> okay. I think in the next five years, I think that you, I see you transitioning out of um, content that you are currently doing as it is now Mm -hmm. at the cadence of which it is now yeah i agree i could see you i could see you dissolving your main channel Mm. i could i could see you vlogging but like very different vlogs potentially and i think i think your content as a whole will just change like the whole subject of all your content will change Mm -hmm. And I could see you. Mommy vlogger. Uh, my dream. <laughs> I told you though, I think that you should start, like you'd be such a kick-ass, whether it's like a creative director or like um, consulting for brands or like, which I know you already do, but like at a high level, yeah. I could see you being very like behind the scenes on a lot of yeah, things. Yeah, I would like that. I think in my head, I'm like, I'm aware that will happen eventually. So I'm in no rush to necessarily do it, but yeah. I'm like, it would be fun to like slowly that way. I think in the next five years though, like yeah. that makes total sense. But again, is it just going to fly by? And then I'm like, well, no, I'm 36. It is crazy how much faster life flies by the older that you get. Like, too. remember you like dead ass wanted to move to New York and you're yeah. like, no, it'll happen. Like yeah. at some point in my life. Yeah. I, it's not, I'm now, I'm like mourning it truly. Like look the other way when I'm acting like I live there next week. Truly look the other way. Oh, <laughs> why? Cause you're going to cry. Oh, <laughs> Look the other way, but like I fully come to terms. Like I yeah. don't think that's ever going to happen for me, and that's okay. But it could. I thought it would. I really. I thought I was going to be Leah Michelle and Glee. I really did. I really did. <laughs> I did. It's different though when like being single, realizing that my future drastically depends on where like my husband is from, lives, what he does, what his job is. Like mm-hmm. obviously, I would be easier to like quote uproot my life because I can work remote. So it's like, I could meet someone in New York and then be like, oh, I guess I'm moving to New York. Yeah. But like, obviously like once you met Callan, he's here in LA, it's like, oh, like it's not just uprooting your life and Daisy's life. Like now it's like you and three dogs and Cal. And yeah. like, there's a lot there. Realistically more than anything. Cause obviously Cal works from home. I'm like, it's the dogs. I'm yeah. like, I can't have three dogs in New York. I mean, I could, it just would be very different and they wouldn't have as good of a life. So also the space. I feel like that would be too. really hard for you. Yeah. I would like, uh, maybe when I'm older, maybe when yeah. I, maybe when I'm an empty nester, like truly maybe, but like, as of right now, I'm like, I've come to terms with the fact that like, I guess I am not going to be Lee, Michelle and Glee. And I've that's always okay. thought we would enjoy going for like a month or something like in a very long extended vacation. I would love that. Yeah. We, we obviously I'm part of it though. <laughs> well, how are we going to work for pretty basic? Yeah. <laughs> Bye Cal. <laughs> Watch the house. The way that we actually did that though in May. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> no, I thought about that. I yeah. love that. But yeah, who knows? Maybe it's just different Wait, than what you thought. That'd be really cute. I also, this is more deep. I feel like within five years, I think you're going to look back at this time in your life and you're going to be like, wow, like you're just going to have so much love for this version of you. Like right before you're getting married, like you're about to enter a whole new like chapter. And I think within five years, you're going to look back and be like, wow, I used to care so much about what people think. Like I used to like, like, I think you're just gonna be so much more rooted, like, like, hey, like grounded. That was so beautiful. Yeah. Which like, obviously like, and thank you. That kind of like, no, I need that. That I just, sounds I, relaxing. I, I like truly, I'm like, oh my God, I just know you're going to like, this is such a special time, Rim. I love you. That was so sweet. Suck it, Cal. That's why you gave me the tissues. <laughs> I honestly, though, I, I, you know how I was really struggling with the idea of turning 30? Mm-hmm. I truly, me every few months I come on and I say this, but like <laughs> I, I did feel like a gener- a genuine shift the other day in the peace I had with the idea of turning 30 and more so because everybody says this, the security you have in yourself in your 30s. I was like, I feel it as the days go, like I, as I get closer and closer, I feel it starting to grow. And like truly like I, even an overwhelming thought of like, oh my God, like these people think this of me before used to would have kept me up all night. Mm-hmm. And I would have been really hard on myself and sad. I would have talked about it in therapy. Yeah. I would have talked about it at Cal. I would have talked about it to a lot of people. Now I like, 
am able to silence it really quickly. Good. And I do think I'm looking forward to getting older because I do think the wisdom that comes the older it. that I get, the quicker that I'll be able to silence those thoughts. Yeah, so I like, thousand percent. I found peace in it. I think honestly, really through that. Also, I feel like our society puts so much like emphasis on the actual physical birthday. But if you think about it, like you pretty much like you almost are 30. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah like the way that the calendar works, like we see it as one day, but obviously yeah. the day before, it's not like, oh, I'm only 29 yeah. and now I'm 30. Yeah. Like you are every day getting closer and closer to- It's like an aura that. shift. Yeah. You're so right. Wait, yeah. I want to give you a deep one too, because you gave me a deep one. I think okay. five years from now, I think you are going to be a completely different person, but in a really, like in a very special way, because I'm thinking we've only been best friends for seven years, which is really crazy because it feels like forever. Mm-hmm. And that's- Pretty much five years. But you know when what you I think mean? of us two years in versus now, it's no, so different. So different. And also just like the amount of growth that so you've different. had in five years is insane. So to think even like five more years from now, oh because I just, I, every day I feel like you are actively working on yourself and you are like truly, and I know I say it a lot, but I'm like, you should be really proud of yourself. Like whenever I, you're done saying something, and I'm like, that's amazing. Like I genuinely mean it because like sitting here for the past six years, we're on six years of this podcast, Crazy. right? We just hit six years, but like truly like sitting here and like, I try to actively listen all the time. So like I, and there are certain things that you say where I'm like, oh my God, she would have never said that a month ago, six months ago, a year ago, six years ago. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like you make so much change and you've changed so much as a person and you've become so much more, I feel like over the years, just like, uh, loving, generous, emotionally intelligent. Like you've just grown so much into like, you obviously you're an amazing person when I met you, but like just you've grown so much more over the years. Like I can't even imagine what you're going to be like in five more years from now. You're so generous now. You were not when we met. <laughs> I'm kidding. I was a bitch. You saying that to me. <laughs> no, no, no. Wait, I hope it didn't come out wrong. No, 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 I'm just, I'm, I make comedy <laughs> to lighten moods. <laughs> it's true though. You are like, it's just you. I thank you. Obviously Let when I met you, I fucking you. loved you. Let me but just like, say thank you. It's been really cool to see just how, what an incredible woman you are. Oh my God, thank you're so Imagine welcome. us with babies right now. Yeah. No, literally us rocking. We'll, we'll, no, we'll, the, we'll the recording. Foot. Yeah, we'll be like this. <laughs> oh my god! Um, I would love to have babies at the same time. Um, real quick before we end, um, do you want to give them? A, speaking of weddings, do you want to give them an update? Oh my god! Yes, everybody, big, big, big update. Alicia's gonna vlog my wedding. Is that what you're? <laughs> Wait, we actually like almost got in a fight the other day no, because of that. I'm kidding. We kind of did though. Okay, wait, actually first update. I don't want to <laughs> jinx it and we will cut this out if need be. Mm-hmm. I found, believe allegedly, I found my wedding venue. It's so good. It's got, whew. it's amazing. Wait, oh my God. It's like my, my th- vision came <gasps> true. Oh my God. The Raven. <laughs> Stunning. <laughs> raven. I honestly, guys, it's so funny because I was like, I literally went through 80 venues. I didn't physically go to 80 venues, but I like did research on literally 80 venues. I was about to build a freaking building that you would like. We were getting close. But I was really at the point, and I've told my planner this, like I love him so much, but I was like, I was getting to the point where I was like, if it doesn't actually matter, like I don't need, if I'm gonna put all the money into it. I would really like for it to be obviously like something that I love, love, love. But if it's not, that's also okay. Like then I don't need to do a huge wedding. Yeah. I could literally, we could do something very small, like very intimate. Like I'm, I'm really at this point, I don't care anymore, which I've talked about a lot. And it's so funny because I kept vlogging and I told Alicia, I was like, maybe somehow superstitiously, the vlog is making me, is holding me You're back from finding it. it. I stopped vlogging. Boom. Next one I found, I literally found the most perfect venue. It's insane. It's everything that I could have wanted because I knew in my gut it was out there. Mm-hmm. I knew, but I just hadn't found it yet. I found it. Little, quick little spark notes. It was like, it fell so perfectly into place like where I was like this superstitiously, this universally like is the perfect place. Um, one, it's this like very special place for Cal and I in this city that's very special for Cal and I that we didn't even think of. So that is one. And then two, they had this dog on the property who ran up to us right when we started the tour. And the dog is literally named what Cal and I wanted to name our first baby. Like literally the only name we've ever agreed on for a baby. So it was, I was like, whoa, this is crazy. It's all falling into place, which is very exciting. So 
once I sign said contract, then we can actually start wedding planning, which is very exciting. And so now Alicia and I've had real conversations about a real wedding because up till now it was a pretend wedding. I mean, yes, yes. Um, and one of those conversations being like, Hey, like, okay, just letting you know, like I will, oh, you were talking about like, oh, I don't know, like, is it worth it to hire someone to like help me with content or the vlog? Like, obviously that's a newer thing. Like we've had some friends do it. I don't know. And I was like, oh, well, like, I mean, I will, I will hold your vlog camera if you need me to. And you were like, you said the sweetest thing. No, then who's going to hold your vlog camera? It's true though. And I was like, Remy, I'm not going to vlog on your freaking wedding. I need everyone to know I am a Leo rising. <laughs> I need everyone there to be vlogging. Literally. <laughs> I need, I need to watch everyone's point of view. All 700 people from their point of views, what their <laughs> night was. The way we were FaceTiming and you got so serious. I'm I knew serious. you were being, you're like, you're like, no. <laughs> All I want, <laughs> you better not get me any wedding gift. All I want, mm -hmm. don't do Vlogmas. It's fine if it's too much. You better fucking vlog. It's one vlog, bitch. You better fucking pull it together. <laughs> it was so funny. No, no, no. It was so funny because I tell you were dead serious. You're like, all I want, like truly, it would make me so happy to just like, anyone who wants to vlog can vlog. Like, please. Yeah, like, no, I'm just, I'm kidding, by and the it way. Was, no, no, but it was so funny because I was like, oh my God, you're being so serious. And I was like, oh. <gasps> How I'm so sorry. I, I'm so sorry. I let you down already. Like quite possibly, <laughs> obviously like my closest friends who are all influencers, like your vlogs are going to be the most me. I I'm kidding, obviously, but like I, if people want to, like, I really <laughs> am looking forward to watching like that. I love like the literally I'll be in the same room as you and Ollie during a vlogmas well, on a trip and I'll still watch both your point of views and I'm there just because it's like fun and yeah. I like seeing all the little things that I missed and like, you know, whatever. And so I like, don't vlog, don't not vlog because of me. Like yeah, I no. want to see it. If you don't want to, you don't have to, but well, I want to watch if you I, want to. I was like, Remy, I'm so sorry. Like a Sierra Furtado got a vlog for me. Like, obviously I have to vlog for you. I would love a vlog. <laughs> no, and I will. I just, I like, to me, I'm like, this is your day. I know I understand like the the politeness of it all, but like I'm here to tell everybody. And I don't, there will be a mass text out to all of the attendees. If you want to vlog, please. Maybe you could wait till my vlog goes up first. You know what you should do? You know how I'm party full? Yeah, the you mass text. The mass text. Yeah. You should do that. I will. Okay. I'm going to like, I'll tell everybody, feel free to. I'm sorry. I just really like, I would love to watch, whether you put it live or not, I really, if, if, whatever everyone wants to do, I would just love to see it from other people's point of views because I'm not going to be there a well, lot of the time, to be honest. Well, what, what I, tr I'll like also, in the end, like people only care about like, your like what you want you know it's like if you want people yes. like it's even with sierra i was like oh like i don't have to like if you're okay with this i can cut anything out yeah. she's like oh my god post whatever and i was like perfect like but like Queen. the etiquette of it is like you don't Absolutely. know you know of course yes no i want to like i really want to watch your vlog are you kidding me in my head i'm just like when i'm drunk, I have trying to time pee? i don't know so funny. i can get a you hire someone to follow you around you're so right <laughs> i love that idea Ryan, you, know we'll you, do you know who will do it <laughs> eli <laughs> Eli will do that for free. And he will do it for free. <laughs> for free. Oh my God. Well, I'm so excited for you. And I am praying that you're not right about the superstition thing because that's why I didn't want to talk about Wicked. Oh, mm -hmm. no, I know in my gut it's going to happen. Okay, good. Tap in. Yeah, it's going to happen. I know. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. And we're going to see Wait, Ariana. You are like, I see me on the car. Like you see you on the carpet, but I don't go. <laughs> You're like, no, we're going to be there. You're like, oh, I only saw oh, me. Oh, shoot. Sorry. You're like, oh, you're right. I guess I only saw me <laughs> talking to Ariana. That would literally be an episode of That's So Raven. No, that's what I'm that actually That actually is, it's like Raven and then Chelsea's yeah. like, wait, where am I? Yeah, it's like you no. said we were yeah. We're going. No, no, we well, are. Also, are. if you're not there, I'm not there. No, oh, bit. Mm -mm. No, mm -mm. the way that I will vlog your wedding because mm -hmm. you want me to, if you do not go to that, I will be, so, I will like, well, we're taking a break from Pretty Ways. That's fine. Guess we're taking a break. I would literally never go without you. Absolutely not. Remy. Mm. I would go without. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Anyway, I understand and that's okay. No, you would go without me. I'd make you. No. I literally would make you. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Pretty Basic. <laughs> Can't wait. Hopefully the next time we come back, we have a very exciting update that we both attended Hopefully the Wicked Ariana premiere. Hopefully is here in, in studio. <laughs> oh my God. And we Cynthia. need to manifest. Yeah, we need Cynthia and we need Ariana. Like We need to manifest We it. should just, oh my, oh, it'd be so cute if like they could just come on. Like we don't even have to be here. Like they could just like be here and just do an episode for yeah. us. I've been watching all of their interviews. They're so cute. I know. They're I love like how close friendship. they are. It's really sweet. I know. They're sisters. I can't wait. Oh my God. Wait. Also, 
I just realized not only does it mean we're going to the premiere, we're going to see the movie. I just realized we're going to see the movie. <laughs> Wait, so is there going to be a premiere for part two? Probably next year. Oh my God, we can't fuck it up, Rem. N- yeah, no. Wait, we maybe got a we'll, stunt. Oh no, they already filmed it. Damn it. Because they filmed it together. Yes, I thought, I thought, I actually Googled that the other day because yeah. I was like, are they going to go back and film it again? No, they filmed it together, which is actually smart. That's so I feel smart. like continuity and everything, it's like, for sure. Also, then you can't let the comments like, affect it too much too that's nice also you know? we need uh an ariana tour and obviously she'll be busy, she probably was so. like sorry i can't devote five years to you but i can give you two. Oh, it's gonna be so good i can't wait <sighs> love you all thanks for watching and we'll catch you next episode Bye. Bye.